In this video, we are going to continue with the use of grep command, but we are going to talk about how to use regular expressions with grep command. Regular expressions are a sequence of vectors which help us to form search patterns. This we have also done with file globbing, but here the regular expressions are more powerful. There are more number of characters that you can use and the importance difference to remember is while globbing we looked for file names, but with regular expressions with the combination of grep command we are going to look for content within a file. We are looking for lines that contain those patterns and not the files. So, now what are the characters available which will help us to form regular expressions? The first character is star, where star means 0 or more occurrence of the previous character. So, if I say grep f i l star e in a file f1.txt, so this means I am going to match f followed by i followed by 0 or more occurrence of l and then e. So, I am looking for patterns such as f i e, f i l e, f i 2 times l e and so on. So, I am going to use the same file data.txt as used in the last discussion with the grep. And now the first character that we are going to study is star. So star means 0 or more occurrence of the previous character. So, let us look for f i l star e. This means I am looking for f followed by i followed by 0 or more occurrence of l and then followed by e. So, you can see all those lines where f is followed by i followed by 0 or more. So, here is no occurrence of l, 1 occurrence of l, 2, 3, 4 and so on. All lines which will contain f, i, any occurrence of l followed by e. The next character is dot. Dot means any one character. So, grep f i dot e means f followed by i followed by any one character and then e. So, I am looking for lines which might contain something as file, fine, fire, something like this. With dot, we are looking for any one character. So, if I write f i dot e and then data dot txt, this means I am looking for f followed by i followed by any one character and then e. You can see all lines f i l e f i n e f i r e where f is followed by i followed by any one character and then e. Next is the use of square brackets. It is similar to file globbing wherein if I want to do an or of characters then I can put those characters inside the square bracket. So, for example, f i in the square bracket l n at the rate and then e means we are looking for those lines which might contain f i l e, f i n e or f i at the rate e. So, let us suppose I want here l n at the rate. If any one of these is there followed by e in data dot txt, then we will get those lines. So, there are two matches. F I L E F I N E, but is there is no line which contains F I at the rate E. Similarly, you might want to give a sequence here. Let's suppose you might want to write like this. If there is any such match, so there is no match. So what we can do, we can just edit the file a little bit. For here, F I so, I repeat you should do this while practicing keep on editing the file so that you get relevant matches or relevant output to match whatever you are looking for. I will rerun the query. So, you can see I am getting two lines. Similarly, you can go for A to Z, capital A to capital Z. All those lines you might want to restrict rather than going from A to Z, you might want to go for A to R. So, you're getting all the lines A to M, getting only one line, right? 
So you can give a range by using the square brackets. Whatever you write within the square brackets, only one character out of that will be picked. If we do not want to match a character, then we can use the caret symbol within the bracket as the very first character. So F I caret L N at the rate E means we are looking for all lines which does not contain F followed by I followed by N E or L E or at the rate E. If I don't want to have a match, for example, what I mean is if I write F I, I don't want 0 to 9. This I don't want. Then I use not for not, we use caret symbol E, then data dot txt. You can see all where there is no digit after I and before E. Another use of caret symbol is if you are looking for lines beginning with. But remember, in this case, we are not going to put the caret symbol within the square bracket. So this will be the very first character in the search pattern. For example, if I am looking for all lines starting with a digit, then we will use caret in the bracket 0 hyphen 9 means I am specifying a range. Or if I am looking for all lines beginning with fi, so I will write caret fi. Remember, caret within the square bracket means not. Caret as the very first character of this pattern means lines beginning with. Now let us look for all lines starting with a digit. So I'll write caret symbol not in the square bracket, okay, outside. Then 0 to 9. This means all lines beginning with a digit in data.ext. There is no such line. Let's look for all lines beginning with the. So there are three lines which begin with. The. If I club this with minus i to ignore the case, then there are more than three lines which begin with the, ignoring the case. Opposite to caret is dollar sign, which means we are looking for lines ending with. So dollar sign now will be used at the end of the search pattern. For example, if we are looking for lines ending with a digit, we'll write zero to nine within the bracket and then dollar. Or we are looking for lines ending with fi, then we'll write fi dollar symbol. For lines ending with, let's replace the caret symbol with dollar, but at the end. So let's suppose 0 to 9 dollar symbol data dot txt. So there are three lines or two lines rather which end with a digit. Similarly, let's replace this with e. So there are many lines which end with four lines are the one, two, three, four, which end with E. So remember caret to look for lines beginning with dollar to look for lines ending with. Now apart from these basic characters, we can also use some extended characters which form extended regular expressions. But for that we have to use minus capital E option. Minus small e was for or or you are looking for multiple words or multiple patterns but with minus capital E we are going to extend the use of regular expressions. So the very first character in extended regular expressions is plus which means one or more occurrence of the previous character. We have done star which means zero or more but plus means one or more. So the only difference will be if I write the same pattern f i l plus e I am going to get at least one occurrence of L in the pattern. The next regular expression is with the use of question mark, where question mark means zero or one occurrence of the previous character. So it is going to match exactly F I E or F I L E. Next is the use of curly braces, wherein we can give the range. So, so far with star plus, it was one or more or zero or more. But what if I want to give a range of my own, 2 to 4, 5 to 7. So then we can use m comma n where m is the first or the minimum value, n is the maximum value. For example, if I write f i 2 comma 3, this means minimum 2 occurrence of L, maximum 3 occurrence of L. 
you can also skip one of these characters for example if we simply write f i l in this square brackets comma 3 this means minimum is 0 and maximum is 3 similarly if you skip the maximum part this means maximum can range to any number minimum whatever number is specified plus will give us one or more occurrence of the previous character but i have to use minus capital e remember this so you can see the only difference with plus and star is in star you will also get zero occurrence of the previous character question mark you are going to get only zero or one occurrence like this not more than one if you want to give a range then we'll use curly braces let's suppose two to four so minimum range is 2, maximum is 4. Last is the use of circular bracket, where circular bracket means you might want to do an or of words. For example, you might be looking for the words something or nothing. So then you use some pipe no within the circular bracket and then you write things. So it will match either something or nothing. Suppose you want to look for F I and then there is either N E or L E or R E in the file data.txt. But remember to use minus E. This is one of the common mistakes which people sometimes do. So you can see all these lines which contains F I followed by either N E or L E or R E. If you remove one of them, we will get the corresponding lines. So I hope now the use of regular expressions with the grep command is clear. You will be able to look for any kind of patterns within the file. In the next video, we are going to talk about pipes and redirections.